What I'm going to show you today is how to make an actual uh, blending slash rendering brush in uh, Illustrator. You can actually get some pretty decent effects out of it for uh, doing some final touches on anything illustration wise. First thing you're going to do is make a circle, hit black. What you're going to do is uh, control C and control F for uh, paste in the front, but I'm using the PC, so that's the shortcuts for me. Increase the top circle and control left bracket to bring it to the back. Bring the opacity down to zero and select them both. Go to object, blend, blend options. For the spacing, you're going to want to put it between 25 and 30, depending on how. Uh, powerful your PC is. After you get the steps you want, click OK. Shortcuts Control Alt B to do the blend. After you got it together, drag it over the brush palette. I'm going to go with an art brush. Get some using Cintiq. I'll go with pressure. I usually have the direction to the left. And for the method, choose tints. I'm going to create a new layer and click on the brush. And I'm going to go with the blue stroke. You go to the transparency palette and you go to screen. I'm going to stroke down to about 0.5. So it's a quick and easy way to bring more dimension to your work and easily uh, create highlights and different effects. But like I said, I mean, this is before it's pretty hard on the PC. The more you add to it, the slower it's going to get and drag. But I figured I'd just throw this out here, give you guys something to try, mess around with it, see if it helps you, see if it does anything for you at all. But again, thanks for your support and watch my videos, and have a good one.